So today I'm going to change the rear spring on my Toyota IQ because it failed the MOT because of this one as it was either broken or cracked. And I'm also, if I'm there, I'm going to include the, the new spring caps as well because the car is being now, let's say around 12, 13 years old. The rubber gets old, it's, it becomes more like a plastic, not a rubber anymore. So since they are quite cheap, I'm gonna change them anyway. So now let's let's grab that little ladybug here. So I'm going to lift it from the rear on those points and then support it on, under the subframe with jack stands in order to avoid fighting the subframe when doing the spring replacement. So let's lift it. So now remove the wheel real quick. So I decided only to support it from, from the side as it has no sway bars on the rear. What we need to do in order to get out this one is to remove the shock absorber bolt here, move it out of the place, push down on the subframe and then the spring will pop off. So it's fairly easy, it shouldn't take more than 3 minutes. So let me grab a socket for, the, for this bottom uh, bolt. Meanwhile my girlfriend came home. So it's a 13, uh, 40 millimeter nut and 40 millimeter bolt from the other side. But first I want to use a little bit of a wire brush just to clean it so that the spanner and the socket goes on it, on it uh, a little bit easier. As the last thing I want to do is to strip it or around it. And also put a rug underneath and spray some WD-40 on it, just like that. So I decided to use an impact gun instead of the ratchet. So here is the impact socket. Okay, it's tight. 14 mil on the other side. It's good. And then use the impact gun. So I outdone the not on the other side. I couldn't record it because I needed to counter hold it while I was using the impact gun on this side. But you get the idea. I needed my both hands for that in order to remove the nut from this side. So now I can remove the bolt and this should go down and we'll have enough room to wiggle with the spring in order to remove it. So we nearly even can remove the spring by the hand. So now I'm gonna use a medium sized pry bar and just pry it on and it should pop off. But I think I'll need both hands for that. So yeah, I pushed, it, pushed on it a bit harder, stronger and it just popped off. Also with the spring cap. So I still need to remove the lower one and pop, pop back the new one in and we are done with the job. So yeah, let's remove that lower spring cap as well. Here it is. So here are the new ones. This is the top one. Let's put it back on it. This one has a groove for the spring as you can see. 
here is the end of the spring so let's put it this way push on it and then we just still need, need to move it a little bit let's just turn it let me do it with two hands so yeah now it is all the way and with the bottom one we put that on here place yeah. and now we can put back the spring I think I'm gonna need two hands for that again so I won't be able to show you how to do it because it doesn't fit there at the moment well, maybe I just need to slide slightly push it down push down on the pry bar and fit the spring back in i'm gonna do that now and then i'll be back in a minute so now the spring is back in its place we just need to raise the subframe with the jack and then align the holes put through the bolt tighten them down and we are good to go so i'm gonna do that now so lift it align the shock absorber And I think, I think we are good. So now let me just put through the bolt. Okay. It's done. Let's put a nut on the other side, tighten them down and we are good to go. So let me do that off camera as I feel need both hands for that. So now we are done with the job. We just need to put back the wheel and then lower the car and take it to the MOT station real quick to be in still that period that I can take it I got two weeks I needed to wait for the parts to come so I'm gonna take it to the MOT station and then get the MOT done in the next video I'm gonna change the shock absorber I didn't want to change it now because I need to get the MOT done as soon as possible as I don't want to pay it for twice I probably I'll need to remove the headlight because I think the top bolt or not is for the for the shock absorbers it is underneath the headlight so I'm gonna show you how to do that as well in the next video but yeah I failed the MOT because of that spring and um, the garage wanted to charge me I think 170 for that including with the labor and parts so I said no let me do it myself I did it so now it's time to take it back to the station and then get the MOT done. So see you guys soon until the next one. Bye.